There's a question by Zain Arif. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa barakatuh. Dr. Zakir, I have two questions. Firstly, should I be a Sunni or a Shia? My second question is, should I read the Quran in English, which I understand better, or should I read it in Arabic? I'm a new Muslim. The person who asked the question is the new Muslim, he's a revert and he's asked, should I be a Sunni or a Shia? If you read the Quran, there is no Sunni or Shia, there's only a Muslim. Allah says, Qala innani mil Muslim. In the ayah I quoted in the beginning of the session from Surah Fusila chapter number 40 and verse number 33. And then in the ending it says, Qala innani mil Muslim. Say that I'm Muslim. So there's no Shia Sunni in Islam. These have been made by the people. You, as a practicing Muslim, you should follow Quran and say Hadith. So the right thing is you should be a Muslim. I know because of all the various sects that have emerged in Islam, there should be no sects. What you should follow is Quran and the say Hadith. And anyone who follows the Quran and say Hadith is a practicing Muslim. And anyone who follows Allah and his Rasul and follows the teachings of the Sahaba, they are on the straight path. All those who do not agree with the Sahabas and the teachings and the Khulfa Rashidin, they are on the wrong track. The Prophet clearly mentioned that you have to follow me and the teachings of the Khulfa Rashidin. You have to follow me and the Sahabas. So all those who claim to be Muslims and they don't follow the Khulfa Rashidin, the four Khulfa Rashidin, that is Hazrat Abu Bakr, Hazrat Umar, Hazrat Usman, Hazrat Ali, all of them, Khulfa Rashidin and the Sahabas, they are on the wrong track. You have to follow Allah his Rasul and, and the last time fine messenger said you have to follow the Khulfa Rashidin and the Sabas. Coming to your second question, that since you are a revert, is it better to read the Quran with English translation or in Arabic? Since you understand English but don't understand Arabic. The best would be is to read in Arabic and in the language you understand the best. If you read in Arabic, but naturally you get the sawab. If you know Arabic as a language, it's the best. Besides getting sawab, you can know the message and implement on the message. If you don't know Arabic as a language, then read the Arabic portion as well as read the English translation of the Quran if you know English as your best language. You should read the translation of the Quran in the language you understand best because the Quran was revealed to be implemented. The Quran is the most positive book in the world. It's a proclamation to humanity. It's an assurance to those in doubt. It's a solace to the suffering. It's a hope to those in despair. It's a fountain of worth. It's a fountain of mercy and wisdom. It's a warning to the heedless. And all this you can only get if you understand the meaning. So if you don't know Arabic as a language, the best would be to read the translation in the language you understand the best. Hope that answers the question.